What's up guys? It is the Space Kid Gamer here, and today we're gonna be playing a new old game known as Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. So 10 out of 10, best game ever. No. So this is a 3D platformer from Naughty Dog. Like searching for the answers no, uh, that my father and my father's father's failed to find. To. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of green ego. One of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Tarnation, do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. 
None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! Buddy! So before I was interrupted before, this is Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. So pretty much, this game came out in 2001, it was one of my very first games that I ever got on the PlayStation 2. I am actually playing it on PS3 because Elgato HD 60 Capture is a fucking bitch. But I'm also running it in 1080p 60fps, and you guys are also watching it in 1080p 60fps. So pretty much, the same old, the sage is telling us to go... Oh, it does work with us. Yay. So pretty much this entire game is us collecting these three things right here. Or it's pretty much in a row right here. We have precursor orbs, which are these thingies right here. We've got these power cells. See look, PlayStation 3 system. We have power cells and we also have scout flies. And this is pretty much it. I should really get a new controller for PS3. <laughs> Except this isn't really my PlayStation, this is my brother's PlayStation. And... Oh. So yeah, sadly this isn't the PAL version. So I can't run it in German. But German is pretty lackluster. That's Blue Eco. So Blue Eco attracts things, pretty much attracts everything but um, power cells. So we'll be using this a lot in the run to be collecting power, or not power cells, orbs. orbs. It does, just, for some reason I just can't get that. And insane movement tech, you know all the, all the good stuff. Alright, seems easy enough. So yeah, this is going to be a faster let's play than most. It's more of a walkthrough at this point. Alright, thank you Sankira. Sankira. So we're going to be using a lot of rolls. So pretty much we need 20 power cells to get the, I forget what the thing is, but it's like a, like a motorcycle that floats, it's a hover bike.
So we're gonna also want to collect every single power cell that is or not power cell, every single orb that is in this place because I don't even know if we can ever come back. To increase my health. It's like they move. Alright, so we don't even need this, but that's uh that's little eco, I mean that's little green eco. Alright, so we have 44. I don't know if that's all of it or not. Hope it is. That's not all of them. Yeah, I'm missing some. So we're gonna... We're gonna... Head back quick. Since I know guys are rock pretty well. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I know my way around guys are rock. Right. Are they down here? I don't think they are. Oh, they are. There we go. Oh, pizza rubs are collected. Alright, so we're gonna make our way back. Making our way down back to the fire. Bah! First circle bees. We're gonna go to Green Sage's hut or Green Sage's hut or Green Sage's hut. Yeah. Alright, so we have even more cutscenes! Yay! No problem! We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the... Oh man, they're all clogged up with the same rock. Follow the lamps and take it by faith. Now, all of you, get out of here! So, my question is, for this game, pretty much is, where does Jack live? Like, there's no specific house that Jack lives in. Can we talk to him? Oh, we can. Just live with this baby. Alright. So we're going to Sandover Village, pretty much. We're gonna we're gonna go punch some cows first. I think that's the first. Actually, no, we're gonna collect these. Hey, it looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. <clears throat> All right, my buttons are really <laughs> sticky, but this controller is more solid than my other controller, which is kind of sad. Alright, I think there's one down here. Yep. There we go. So what so what kind of a jump I'm doing right now is pretty much I'm hitting my I'm doing pressing X square and then holding X after I hit square. And that'll give me like the same height, I believe, as a as a normal double jump, but it's faster. So we're gonna go smack these cows around into their pen. Actually, I don't even know what these things are. They're like buffalo cows. I don't know. Hey, 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 hey! Get over here. The AI of these things are in is insane. Like, you think, you think, uh, I don't know, what's a new game? Updated Bioshock, remastered AI is good. Oh my god. Actually, no, Bioshock AI, I don't think it's very good at all. Um, 
What's a really good AI? Leave in the comments, what is your game with the best AI? Or what game do you think has the best AI in it? Because these cows can probably top that. Hey, get! Get on out of here! Thought I told you to get! So when we're done here, we're gonna go talk to the farmer. I don't know, he's got like a rice rice farm right here too. At least I think that's what it is. Those onions. No, 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 no. I'm not very up to date on farming. Oh my God. These, these those rocks hurt my eyes. Ah, uh, tripping my way downtown. <laughs> Fuck. All right. That lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. Ah, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Good damn. Alright, so we made our way to five power cells. We're gonna make this an extended episode series because I kind of want to get through this game in as least amount of episodes as possible. So we're gonna be doing double length episodes. Woohoo! If anything, I should be doing half as long episodes because who wants to listen to me for. Yeah, this controller's not very responsive for some of the buttons. Bruh. Also, I'm not very good at this game. Pretty much this is me practicing because I may, might want to speedrun it in the future, but at the same time, I just, it's so, it's, it's so hard. The controls are a lot harder than they look. So we have five. We're gonna talk to this motherfucker. This over must here. be a precursor oracle, like the sage always goes on about. I hope. Who awakens the oracle? Wait, one of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. All right. So pretty much Jack is the chosen one, I guess. He's the chosen one of this land. He's the only one who can really do anything because everyone's a lazy piece of shit. Other than that, Jack is also pretty much a lazy piece of shit. He is pretty much the only person in the world who can save the world because those guys over at Misty Island are going to go and wreck everything. So we're in the Forbidden Jungle. Which, I don't know why it's called the Forbidden Jungle. We got some perpetual motion shit going on in here. And the snake from Jungle Book is here too. You know, bop. We have this thing that's always moving at all times. Pretty much, like I said, perpetual motion. Which is pretty freaky. I'm guessing that's why this place is forbidden. Is because it's got some magic going on here. So, what we're going to do next is actually gonna be gonna go talk to the fisherman what do you have in the basket oh, nothing to talk about them monsters patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig and now they're gobbling up me catch no matter what i try i can't seem to catch a single fish in this river Woo! maybe, maybe it's, your breath. it's your breath you think you can do better try swooping up river fish with a tiny net i'll give you a power cell if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters, and now let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. It's funny, because we already used a speedboat to get to Misty Island before. There are two types of good fish to catch. One pound fishies, and five pound fishies. One pound fishies are green, five pound fishies are gold. I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers, and you'll poison the whole darn catch. So pretty much, this is a super hard area if you're very new to the game. I'm still not very good at it, but people do better at it than me. Here comes a big one. 
Oh, here comes the big one. So we're going to try to get 200 fish without failure. Which is kind of a stretch for someone who's not very good at this game, like me. Oh, we just got three gold. Goldfish. The snack that smiles, Pokemon. No! Oh. Alright, so we're almost at 100 pounds of fishies. Which is... Oh, we passed 100. We passed my record of fish caught without failure. So, this is completely RNG. We passed 140. Oh my. I do not deserve this. Oh my. There we go. There's a cold one. These guys need to go. This is completely RNG, but they have these stages that have... Oh, we missed one fish. Oh no. I didn't even see him. And there it is! My best fish ever! Sadly, we only have to use this boat at least like once or twice. So, you know, eh, whatever. So, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna save it right here. And, bye bye.